Hello. Um, this is a Herbalism 101 video. Um, and this is um, the best ways. This is the best herbs to study first. Um, how to get started learning herbalism, um, how to pick an herb to uh, study. Because um, there is a lot of herbs out there and you're like, well, I want to get into herbalism. How, where do I start? <laughs> you know? Um, and so here are some ways that I think that you can start. Um, and here are some suggestions to get you started. Um, so the first one is to take an herb class. <laughs> um, you can take a longer class. Some of them are like three months, six months, nine months, a year. You could take a day class. Um, I took a day class and um, a lot of those classes cover herbs in your area um, and they'll give you several really some of the more common easier herbs to study and sort of get you started. So you can always pick the one that like really interests you first to go deeper on if you wanted to do that. That's a really easy way to sort of jump into it and um, get a little tiny overview. The second way you could do it is um, focus on herbs that are growing in your area, like basically herbs that are growing, plants and herbs that are growing in your backyard. Um, these are things like dandelion, chickweed, plantain, violets, um, possibly some burdock, nettles, um, all of these plants. Um, if you don't know what is growing on your land or yard, um, I would, you know, grab your closest herbal friend, gardener, um, plant person, um, you know, to help you identify some of these things, and then you can just pick one um, from those plants. Um, and that's a good way. Start basically with what is right at your feet and go from there. Um, we have a lot of, I mean, in my area, we have a ton of plants. And then, but if you live in the desert, you're going to have different plants. Um, if you live by the ocean, you're going to have some slightly different plants. So, um, you know, it just depends on what is in your area. You could also go to a park if you don't have any land or any, you know, any yard um, and check out what's growing there. And the best time to go is when things are blooming. That's the easiest way to identify the plants is by their, their flowers. The third thing is to get a good beginner's herb book. Um, Rosemary Gladstar has some fantastic herbal books for beginners. Susan Wee has a great uh, herbal book, um, Healing Wise. It's Susan Weed's book, Rosemary Gladstone's Medicinal Herbs, A Beginner's Guide. It's really great. Um, it's got lots of big pictures and a lot of good information. Um, and then Healing Wise by Susan Weed is also really good. Um, has drawings and um, covers many, many common herbs that you will find. And I would really just sort of start with one herb. <laughs> um, I mean, if you're really stumped, you could sort of go alphabetically by what's in your area. Um, so, you know, that works too. Things that make a good herb to start with is something really local, really common, and really safe. Um, like dandelion. Um, you can eat the flowers and the leaves and the root, and it's really safe and really common, and it grows everywhere. So something like dandelion is great. Um, so that's some good rules of thumb to keep in mind. So that's it. Just some ideas on how to get started learning about individual herbs. I'm going to link a fantastic interview with Rosemary Gladstar. And she does talk about this during the course of the interview. It's not very long. The sound is not fantastic, but the interview is great. So um, I would just turn up the sound. <laughs> and... Um, so I hope this is helpful and I'll see you guys later.